ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஃபார் ஆல் நவ் வி ஆர் சீயிங் என்சிஆர்டி கிளாஸ் லெவன் சாப்டர் ஒன் தட் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் பேசிக் கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஓகே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி அடிஷன் அண்ட் சப்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் ஃபிகர்ஸ் அண்ட் டைமென்ஷனல் அனாலிசிஸ் இன் த டைமென்ஷனல் அனாலிசிஸ் வி வில் சி சம் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி சா வாட் இஸ் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் ஃபிகர்ஸ் அண்ட் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அடிஷன் அண்ட் சப்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் ஃபிகர்ஸ் நவ் யூ கேன் சி தே ஹாவ் கிவன் சம் டிஜிட்ஸ் you can see they have decimal point like 12.111 sorry 11 it has two significant i mean two digits after the point decimal point here there is only one decimal point and here is three decimal point so if the answer is something like imagine it is like something 50 or something coming the question is how much digit i should give as an answer for example it is 15.50.111 or 50.11 or 50.1 so after decimal point how much digit i should report so that is the question now we will see that in this video the result cannot have more digits to the right of the decimal point than either of the original number this is the first rule for example you can see the maximum digit after decimal is here 31.122 it has three digits after decimal point so your answer should not have four digit after decimal point and here you can see there is one number which is given 18.0 so it means it has the least significant i mean least digit after a decimal point so your answer should have only one decimal because one of the given number has only one digit after a decimal point so your answer also should have the same kind of thing so after a decimal point it has only one digit so this is the rule here 18.0 has only one digit after the decimal point and the result should be reported only up to the one digit after the decimal point which is 31.1 now we will see multiplication and division of significant figure so far we saw addition and subtraction now we are saying multiplication and division here you can see they have given 2.5 into 1.25 so the answer is 3.125 so how much digit i should report here here the rule is slightly different you can see here since 2.5 has two significant figure the result should not have more than two significant figures thus it is 3.1 in the addition and subtraction after decimal point we should calculate but in multiplication and division it is about the total significant figure that is 2.5 and 1.25 2.5 has two significant figure and 1.25 has three significant figure you should take the least so 2.5 that is two significant figure so your answer should also have a two significant figure now there is some rules they have given three rules actually they have given in from childhood we have done this whenever we saw a digit after a decimal point if for example 40.135 we will usually remove the 5 and increase the previous number so is it correct or is there some rule we will see that if the rightmost digit to be removed is more than 5 the preceding number is increased by 1 for example they have given 1.386 so i am removing 6 6 is greater than 5 so automatically the previous number 8 will be increased by 1 so it will become as 1.39 so if the rightmost digit to be removed is less than 5 the preceding number is not changed for example 4.334 if 4 is to be removed i am removing the 4 so it is remaining the same that is 4.33 okay now the question is if the number is exactly 5 what should i do we will see that in third rule if the rightmost digit to be removed is 5 then the preceding number is not changed if it is an even number but it is increased by 1 if it is an odd number for example it is an exact 5 so then the preceding number is not changed if it is an even number for example if the preceding number is 2 it is it does not change but if it is an odd number it will be changed for example 6.35 is the round by removing 5 for example here you can see it has exact 5 but i am returning it as 6.3 itself I, sorry 6.4 because it is an odd number here it is an 6.2 i will write as 6.2 because even number does not get increased that is the rule if it is an even number it will not get increased if it is an odd number it will get increased 
now we are going into new topic that is dimensional analysis so even in your childhood and school days you have done this the question is given in one unit for example for say if the question is like a 10 centimeter and the answer will be asked in meter so we will convert the centimeter to meter so that kind of thing we are going to do and we will see some problems also often while calculating there is a need to convert units from one system to another that's what i told the question will be given in centimeter and we want answer in meter so we will convert the one unit to another the method used to accomplish this is called factor label method or unit factor method or dimensional analysis this is illustrated below so they have given one example this is the first example a piece of metal is 3 inch represented by in in means inch 3 inch long what is its length in centimeter so in this question they have given a unit that is inch and we want an answer in centimeter now we will see the answer to do this problem you should know how to convert inch to centimeter so 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter this you should know so write this equation like I tell you so that it will be very easy multiply both side by 1 so 1 into 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter into 1 so the equation comes like this so if I am bringing the 2.54 to 1 inch that this side it will come to come down so it became like 1 inch divided by 2.54 is equal to 1 the same way I am bringing the 1 inch down to 2.54 so it will become like 2.54 divided by 1 inch is equal to 1 so I am making an equation like this now I will tell you the trick actually this is kind of trick in question what we need is inch to centimeter here you can see inch is above and in this equation centimeter is above so the trick is what you need in answer you should take that equation so I am taking 2.54 centimeter divided by 1 okay so the question is 3 inch and I am taking this second one so just I need to multiply 3 inch multiply by 2.54 centimeter divided by 1 inch because the 1 inch inch in inch will get cancelled that's why I took centimeter above so the answer will be 3 into 2.54 that is 7.62 centimeter be now I converted inch to centimeter and this is the answer if you have any doubt in previous question you can ask in comment section or you can join using the telegram link in description and ask doubt in group also now we will go to second problem here the problem is a jug contain 2 liter of milk calculate the volume of milk in meter cube so here in this question you need to convert from liter to meter cube actually there is no direct conversion from liter to meter so what we do is we already know 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube we know this so from centimeter we can convert to meter because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter now just like previous problem multiply both side by 1 1 into 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter into 1 just like that bring 100 centimeter down to 1 meter so it will become like 1 meter by 100 centimeter is equal to 1 and again bring 1 meter down to 100 centimeter so you will get second one in question what I need is meter cube so I will take the first equation because that only has meter above okay so here in this equation it is meter but what I want is meter cube so I am cubing this so by cubing this I will get 1 meter cube divided by 100 into 3 times 100 so 100 power 10 power 6 centimeter cube and this one cube is nothing but this one actually so don't get confused it is the normal one so what question it is 2 liter so I already know 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube so 2 liter is equal to 2 into 1000 and we already took the equation that is which has meter above so 2 into 1000 centimeter cube multiply by 1 meter cube divided by 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube so centimeter cube and centimeter cube get cancelled here 3 0 and 3 will get cancelled so it will become 10 to the power 3 when bringing that 10 to the power 3 above it will become 10 to the power minus 3 so now I converted liter to meter cube so this is the answer if you have any doubt in this problem just comment in comment section 
now we will go to next problem in this problem what they are asking is how many seconds are there in two days so now they are asking us to convert days to second this is a very easy problem because every thing we know here because one day has 24 hour so we know first equation one day is equal to 24 hour so just like that multiply both side by one bring one down make one equation again bring another one down bring another equation so it will become like one day divided by 24 hour is equal to one 24 hour divided by one day in this equation the trick is the question is in days so you should always take the least one because first we will convert days to hour then hours to minute then minutes to seconds like that we will reduce so we don't need because we want a day and day get cancelled in final equation so take a equation which has day below so i will take this first e second equation now we need to convert this hour to minute so this is the second equation 1 hour is equal to 60 minute so multiply both side by 1 just as usual bring this equation so 1 hour divided by 60 minute is equal to 1 which is 60 minute divided by 1 hour is equal to 1 so now here the question is in minute okay so now i want is second so again you need to do another equation here actually one equation is missing in your book the equation is one minute is equal to 60 second so make one equation just like this so you will get so finally you will get three equations one for day to hour day to hour conversion and another is hour to minute conversion and the third one is minutes to second conversion so the question is it for two days so two day multiply by 24 hour divided by day because i need to convert day to hour so day and day will get cancelled and hour will be remaining now i need to convert hour to minute so i will take this 60 hour divided by one hour because then only hour and hour will get cancelled again now it is in minute now i want it to seconds so i told there is one equation missing you need to make your own equation that is one minute is equal to 60 second if you make an equation it comes like this and six minute and minute will get cancelled so finally only second will remain remains so 2 into 24 into 60 into 60 second so the answer is 172800 seconds so these are all the three problems for today's video if you like this video like and share with share it with your friends thank you